So for starters, they have absolutely nothing to do with guns. Um, they're called gun plexus because they contain a gun diode. And it's going to be the, uh, not this one right here, but the one that's in the center. And it's probably not going to focus right on that. But anyway, that's a gun diode. And a gun diode has a uh, negative resistive characteristic. So after you uh, pass a certain threshold voltage, as you increase the voltage, the current decreases. And this effect is used to generate microwave signals at all kinds of frequencies. And uh, this one right here generates signals around 10 gigahertz. And uh, you see there's a second diode in there, and this is a mixer diode. So what you have right here is a, a gun plexer that generates a 10 gigahertz signal using the gun diode and has also a mixer diode in here. And uh, you get the output from, or input, whatever you want to do from that mixer right here. So where that is used is uh, radar speed guns. When uh, the police is after you and uh, you're speeding, this is what's inside one of those, uh, one of those radar guns. And uh, here's another one for 24 gigahertz. It's, it's the exact same thing, and I know it's not going to focus right, but uh, believe me, it's the same thing. So uh, um, those are in there, and all they take is you apply a voltage across the di gun diode, so you'd put uh, your, your ground here and you'd put your positive, whoops, maybe I should actually get in the frame. You put your ground here and you put your positive voltage right here, and uh, right here you have the mixer output. And now here's the idea. As this thing generates, a uh, continuous wave signal, yeah, and it, it blasts it out, and uh, if there's any movement in front of it, then it would make sense that the signal reflected from that object would, of course, be changed by the Doppler shift. And uh, so this slightly changed signal with slightly changed frequency would make it into back into the gun plexer and would get mixed with the original signal. So, and uh, what that looks like I'm going to show you right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So for starters, let's get the entire setup up here with the frequency counter. So I have a gun plexer right here. I do have this, uh, this Keithley power supply is supplying the voltage for the gun plexer. And to prove that there's actually a signal coming out, I have uh, the frequency counter right here and I have a small uh, waveguide transition piece. And if I hold it in front of the gun plexer, you see where here at, uh, at about 10.2 gigahertz. So this signal is continuously coming now. Uh, the frequency depends a little bit on where I hold it because uh, this is not an ideal, ideal way of capturing it. But uh, anyway, so we've proven that we have a 10 gigahertz signal. Now look at the oscilloscope. Let me move the camera just a slight bit over. So the setup is power supply goes in the gun plexer and the, uh, the mixer diode port is, uh, is tapped here into this oscilloscope channel one. Now watch what happens when I move my hand in front of the gun plexer here. And, and by the way, I have a big horn antenna on here, obviously, but it's the exact same gun plexer that I've already shown you. Um, and watch this. The faster I move, the faster or the higher the frequency that we get, the higher the frequency offset. and that is exactly what your speed gun does when the cops are chasing you. So this was really just a, a super small video showing you uh, what a gun plexer is and what it does. And I thought it was interesting. When I first learned about gun plexus, I thought it was super interesting. And many people don't know these exist. So uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or comments. And I'll see you next time.